What's the difference in sound between a penny whistle and a practice chanter? I'm going to show you in this video. I'll play a short tune on each of these as well as the Highland Pipes. And if you're curious about uh, differences between penny whistles and uh, bagpipe practice chanters, just drop me a comment below. Thanks, and so my name's Alec from Get Bagpipe Ready. So I'm just going to play a, a quick tune here, Jolly Beggarman, and I'll play a little bit of e the tune on, on each of these uh, instruments. So the first one up is the penny whistle. So here we go. <laughs> so there's the penny whistle. <laughs> the wind was kind of blowing into it, <laughs> cutting it out a bit. Uh, next up, we'll do. Uh, let's do the low D whistle. <sighs> Fingers getting cold. We'll play a little bit on the low D whistle. Uh, so it's still a D, but just a lot bigger than the the previous one. Okay, so you get the idea of the low D whistle. And uh, next up, we got the practice chanter. So this is the practice chanter for the bagpipes. If you're curious about the differences between the fingering on this and the penny whistle, check out my other video where I talk about differences between the two. So here's the same tune, Jolly Beggarman on the practice chanter. <laughs> Okay, and we'll do it once more on the Highland Pipes here. Okay, sounds good. So that's the different sounds of uh, the penny whistle, the low D whistle, the bagpipe practice chanter, and the Highland Pipes. 
If you enjoyed learning about the differences in this video, let me know in the comments below and if you're curious about if you maybe play the penny whistle and hey, can I switch to a practice chanter, check out my other video as well. Thanks, this has been Alec from Get Bagpipe Ready. Happy, pla happy playing and practicing.